Tumia Bima Pub kwa kupiga nyota 150 nyota 51 alama ya reli au kwa WhatsApp namba 0764166066 na ujipatie bima ya dereva kipato. Bima Pub. Urahisi wa maisha. Mheshimiwa Waziri, um, Sajen kutoka Canada na ujumbe wako wote hapa. Karibu sana Wizara ya Elimu, Science na Teknolojia. Kama nilivyokuambia hizi ni ofisi zetu za muda. Tumehamia Dodoma miaka michache iliyopita, tunamalizia majengo yetu, tutahamia pengine mwishoni mwa mwaka huu. Tunashukuru sana kwa kuja kututembelea. Ziara yako hii inaakisi mahusiano mazuri sana ambaye yapo na amekuwepo muda wote kati ya Tanzania na Canada. Wewe umeniambia ulikuwa waziri wa ulinzi wakati fulani na ulitembelea Tanzania wakati huo. Kama nilivyosema huko ndani hata wakati nchi yetu inaendeleza jeshi letu najua Canada ni kati ya nchi ambayo ilialikwa kwa ajili ya kusaidia swala letu la ulinzi wa nchi yetu. Lakini ziara hii hasa ina tukumbusha mahusiano mazuri sana ambayo yapo kati ya Canada na Tanzania katika sekta ya elimu. Kama nilivyokueleza huko ndani sisi hapa tumekuwa na Watanzania wengi ambao wamesoma Canada kwa kusaidiwa na serikali ya Canada. Waziri wa Elimu, Science na Teknolojia aliyenitangulia Mheshimiwa Profesa Joyce Ndalichako. E alifanya PhD yake chuo kikuu cha Toronto, Canada. Na najua kati anasoma kule alikuwa anasoma vile vile na aliyekuja kuwa waziri wa viwanda na biashara Dr. Cyril Chami katika chuo hicho hicho. Kwa wako wa Tanzania wengi wamesoma Canada kupitia msaada wa serikali ya Canada, wengine wako serikalini na wanafanya shughuli mbalimbali, wengi wako vyo vikuu wanafundisha. Mwaka 1961 Tanzania ilivyoamua kuanzisha chuo kikuu. Chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam kilianza kama chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam kishiriki cha chuo kikuu cha London ilikuwa ni mwaka 1961 University College of Dar es Salaam as a constituent college of the University of London aliyekuwa mkuu wa chuo wakati huo aliyekijenga na kukiendeleza ni mkanada anaitwa Cranford Pratt alikuwa ndio principal wa University College of Dar es Salaam mpaka chuo hicho kilipokuwa chuo kikuu kamili mwaka 1970. Cranford Pratt alifanya kazi nzuri sana na matokeo yake hata jengo la utawala la chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam linaitwa Cranford Pratt kwa heshima ya huyu mkanada ambaye kwa kweli amefanya mchango mkubwa sana. Tunafurahi kwamba mahusiano yetu katika sekta ya elimu yanaendelea kukua na kuimarika sana. Tumekueleza mheshimiwa waziri mfano wa miradi ambayo inafadhiliwa na Canada. Hapa kwa mfano mradi wa Teacher Education Support Project ambao majengo yake na namna ya kuendeleza walimu umeelezwa na waratibu wa mradi hapa na Teachers Upgrading uh, Project vile vile ambao tumefanya pamoja na serikali ya Canada. Baadhi ya majengo ambayo yamejengwa kupitia miradi hii yalizinduliwa na rais wetu mheshimiwa Dr. Samia Suluh Hassan kwanza jengo la chuo cha Mpuguso ambalo liko Mbeya rais wetu aliona umuhimu wa kwenda mwenyewe kwenda kulizindua na vile vile chuo chetu cha ualimu cha Kabanga ambacho kwa kweli kilihamishwa na kujengwa upya kwa msaada wa serikali na watu wa Canada rais wetu mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan alienda mwenyewe kukizindua. Kadhalika tuna mahusiano na taasisi zetu za elimu kati yetu sisi na Canada. Kama nilivyokueleza mheshimiwa waziri, tuna mahusiano mazuri kati ya chuo kikuu cha Sokoine na chuo kikuu cha Western Ontario Canada ambapo nadhani ndio umesema mheshimiwa mbunge wetu hapa anatoka upande huo. Mahusiano hayo tutaendelea kuimarisha tuna mahusiano vile vile kati ya chuo kikuu kishiriki cha elimu cha Changombe cha chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam 
pamoja na chuo kikuu cha Victoria Canada na vile vile tuna makubaliano ya ushirikiano kati ya folk development eh, colleges za Tanzania kama ambazo zilionyeshwa pale na taasisi ya inaitwa College Institute of Canada uh, ya Canada na mahusiano haya yanatoka yalianza mwaka 2022 na tena mpaka 2028 kama tulivyozungumza mheshimiwa waziri sisi tunafanya mageuzi makubwa sana ya elimu hapa Tanzania sasa hivi na nimekueleza maeneo mawili makubwa ambayo tunafanyia mageuzi la kwanza kwamba sisi Tanzania kwa sasa hivi miaka ya lazima ya mtoto kukaa shuleni miaka saba. kuanzia darasa la kwanza mpaka darasa la saba. matokeo yake watoto wanamaliza shule wakiwa na miaka kumi na tatu. hawako tayari kwa kweli kuingia kwenye soko la ajira na sisi vile vile tulikubali kuunga mkono sustainable development goals za umoja wa mataifa ambapo tulikubali kwamba tutatoa elimu mpaka sekondari kwa vijana wetu wote. Kwa hiyo hatua ya kwanza mageuzi hayo ni kuwa na elimu ya lazima ya miaka kumi badala ya kuwa na miaka saba. Mchakato unaendelea tutakaribia kupata kibali cha mwisho na tutakuwa tunatekeleza hatua kwa hatua. Jambo la pili ambalo nimekueleza mheshimiwa waziri ni kwamba tunajaribu tutakapo watoto wetu watakamaliza shule ya msingi wakienda sekondari kutakuwa na mikondo miwili kutakuwa na mkondo wa elimu jumla na kutakuwa na mkondo wa elimu ya amali elimu jumla itakuwa na mafunzo ya amali lakini mafunzo mengi zaidi darasani mkondo wa elimu ya amali utakuwa na mafunzo mengi ya ma elimu ya amali na masomo machache ya darasani mageuzi haya yatahitaji kuwa na rasilimali nyingi za utekelezaji tayari tumefanya mazungumzo na taasisi mbalimbali kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweza tukasonga mbele na sisi ndani ya serikali tumejipanga tutahitaji sana kujenga karakana kwa ajili ya elimu ya awali kufundisha waalimu kuchapisha vitabu kufanya maandalizi ya kutosha kwa ajili ya mageuzi haya na ndio maana mheshimiwa waziri wakati tunaongea mle ndani nilikwambia ningependa sana tuimarishe mahusiano yetu katika elimu hasa katika mafunzo ya ufundi in the areas of polytechnics as we said inside because that is the area that will help us to prepare more teachers who will go and help us with the vocationalized kind of education that we are offering ni kueleza vile vile kwamba bado tunapenda kuona watanzania wanaenda kusoma nje so we want people to go abroad to study uh, there was a thinking at some point that once we have enough people with phds and coming here and teach at our universities then we should be self sufficient but actually the tab university has an element of universality that you have to go abroad and study from other people we we'll want to see canadian students coming to tanzania and tanzanian students going to canada as students exchange we we'll want to have scholarship for tanzanians to go and study in canada we are willing to co fund we we'll look for resources we have set aside some resources also for scholarship to go in canada being a beacon of education we want to see more Tanzanians going and start there and as i said an area which we we'll really love to strengthen our relationship is in areas of technical education because we know we'll gain a lot from your experience uh, areas of engineering and engineering related fields such as mining and so on at the polytechnic level so that we can strengthen our vocational training colleges in the country through that, that kind of exchange we are willing also to accommodate staff exchange to have canadian who will want to come and, and live a little bit dangerously here mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, stay with us stay in the villages work with our, our colleges to train we we'll learn a lot from them and we are willing to see how we can find our own instructors to go to canada for short term to stay with our colleges and learn and gain experience from what you are doing all in all once again i really want to appreciate you are coming here as i promise you the day after tomorrow i will accompany you to arusha to mtwambu together to launch the guidelines that we have prepared through the support of canadian government kwamba nasimama hapa kumshukuru sana waziri aliyokuja kututembelea mheshimiwa sajan amekuja kutangaza ongezeko la ufadhili katika shughuli za elimu dola za Canada milioni 
milioni 25 zitaenda kwa ajili ya kuwasaidia mabinti zetu kusoma na 25 zitaenda kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaongeza mafunzo ya amali kwa ajili ya kuandaa vijana wetu kwa ajili ya ajira. Kwa kwa kweli nasimama hapa kusema asante sana. Ah uh, si mafanikio sana ya serikali yetu kuendelea kujenga mahusiano mazuri na nchi mbalimbali na rais wetu amekuwa akifanya kazi kubwa sana ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaimarisha mahusiano na nchi mbalimbali. Mahusiano hayo ambayo anaongoza uh, mwana diplomasia namba moja wa Tanzania mheshimiwa Dr. Samia Suluh Hassan tunaona matunda yake hapo. Kwa sekta ya elimu kwa msaada. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And then in the exchange I'll just give you a token gift for all this and I will ask the people with the uh, gift to bring it here to you and the member of parliament uh, and to welcome you again to Tanzania. Kama tulianza safari wengi tukikumbuka kutahakisha matairi upepo upo face. Tutahakisha spana na jack zipo na zinafanya kazi. Tutahakisha beki zinakamata. Kaza mbele, nyuma, indicator hazard zinawaka. Hapo sawa. Waifa zinafanya kazi. Tutaangalia oil Injini na maji. Sanunua bima na bima pap ili zisome na kusomeka. Kisha gari inaoshwa. Yote hayo ni utayari wa chombo chapo na changamoto za safari. Ila so kwa ajili yako wewe dereva. Je, yeah, dereva, umechukua hatua gani kulinda uhakika wa kuendelea kujipatia hela? Si unajua? Ya babalani hata biliki tumia bima pap kwa kupiga nyota 150 nyota 51 alama ya reli au kwa WhatsApp namba 0764166066 na ujipatie bima ya dereva kipato. Umahili wa dereva hauishi tu kwenye kumudu uskani bali pia umakini wa kulinda kipato chake wakati wa majanga ya kifedha. Bima pap. Urahisi wa maisha.